welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my November Disney haul. So my monthly Disney haul. It's a few days after November now. In fact, we're in December. As you can see, my very Christmassy get up that I've got going on here. I've got my tree up. I've got my gingerbread candle going and I've got my Christmas Disney top on. This is last year's Primark so I'm sorry it's not available anymore but nevertheless I have a lot of really amazing things to show you that I have bought this month or this last month should I say that are all Disney and are all still available as far as I know. I will say now that I did a very large <laughs> Disney store haul just a few weeks ago so everything that I bought from Disney store, Disney store? Everything that I bought from Disney store in the last month is available in a separate haul and I won't repeat it in this video but trust me there is enough to go in this video that I don't need to include the Disney store stuff like I've gone quite crazy this month which is really bad because it's coming up to Christmas so I should really stop buying so much for myself and buy for everyone else but when I see Disney stuff I just can't say no. So without further ado let us get into the haul and I will show you everything I bought Disney in the last month. So because we didn't have a surprise Zoom last month I thought you know what we need one this month we need one and i'm pretty sure these are the new ones correct me if i'm wrong but this is series four and this has a new glittery rare one in it so hmm. so it's a two pack and the one that you can see is flounder and then there's a surprise one i'm hoping it's the super rare one one of the glittery ones i really found it hard to choose which one to get when i was like picking it up there was rafiki there was scar there was all sorts but in the end i don't really know why i just kind of went for flounder i just think he looks really cute so let's get this open and see who the surprise one is. Do, 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 do. <gasps> Who's that? Who is that? Oh, I think I know who it is. Oh, I think it's Timon. Timon, is that how you say it? Timon and Pumba? Timon and Pumba? Timon and Pumba? Timon and Pumba. I'm pretty sure it's Timon and Pumba. Timon and Pumba. I don't even know how to say that. So I think that's Timon or Timon. I'm not how to say it. Timon and Timon. You know who I mean. From The Lion King. I'm pretty sure that's him. Correct me if I'm wrong. And then we've got Flounder there looking very cute. So I picked those up for 3 50 in Wilco's. And yeah, there was absolutely loads to choose from. I'm quite happy with that. I feel like I need Pumba now. Can you get Pumba? It doesn't look like you can get Pumba actually. Never mind. But I'm happy with that. So surprise soon done and I need to go and put those in my little soon jar. I'm actually just gonna leave them there because they look so cute. <laughs> so I've got quite a lot of Primark stuff. Like there's about three or four bags here of Primark. Like Primark is just taking over my Disney collection at the minute and like why not? It's amazing stuff at a great price. So I'm going to try and show you everything Primark. So the first things I got from Primark are these stockings. They're already hanging up on my bench over there. I don't have a fireplace. So I have like an end kind of breakfast bar bench where I hang them. So these are my stockings for me and my boyfriend. So I have the mini one and my boyfriend Matthew has the Mickey one. Why is the ear so floppy on that one? <laughs> so these were six pound in Primark. They are quite thin and I don't know what material that is but it kind of like brushes like it kind of changes if you say that. What is that like? Velvety? I don't really know but anyway for six pound I think they're great. They're a lot more affordable than the Disney store ones which don't get me wrong I absolutely love the Disney store ones and I do really want them one day like personalized but for now I've got the Primark ones and I've been eyeing these up since I've seen them at their home event quite a few months ago. So they were £6 each and I'm pretty sure they're still available. I did get them a few weeks ago now. Um, the, same, the Mickey ones seem to be going faster than the mini ones which personally I kind of prefer the mini one hence why I'm having the mini one. But yeah. Primark, £6, not bad really. The next thing I got from Primark is this little set of 20 LED lights, indoor, battery operated. These were £3 and they are copper like wire with Mickey heads on them. Oh, they're actually a lot more detailed than I thought. Um, I got these because I'm going to be doing a Christmas DIY video. So check that out on my channel within the next few days it should go up. I haven't recorded it yet but I'm going to. So come back to my channel if you want to see how to make a Christmas Disney DIY wreath. That's what I'm going to be making. I don't know how well you can see that, but there are little Mickeys on there and they light up when you put the batteries in. So if my boyfriend Matthew is watching, because he watches all of my videos, Matthew, skip on to the next thing because I'm about to show a Christmas present. So you probably already guessed that it's a Disney one, but yeah, skip ahead because you can't see your Christmas present. So I went down to the London Tottenham Court Road Primark just about a week and a half ago, where they now have the custom tees, a uh, Disney kind of thing going on, and you can design yourself a Disney t-shirt or a Star Wars t-shirt and I was gonna get one for myself but we just kind of ran out of time so I got my boyfriend one so I designed this one I did the background as kind of like kind of like spacey with like the little um like oh I don't know what the technical term for them is 
but that's so bad because I'm a massive Star Wars fan. But um, the like, oh, little spaceships, <laughs> and then a, like a red Darth Vader kind of um, face there. So like the mask, the helmet, whatever you want to call it. Um, and then just a white top. I will say if you get these, they're two size down because the fitting of them is massive. So this is a small, and Matthew, my boyfriend, would normally take a medium in tops. So this is a small. Like, it's pretty huge. Like, maybe I should have got an extra small. No, I'm sure I'll be fine with that. Um, but the only thing I have to say is that you can only get white t-shirts. And I think this would have looked better on black or grey. Maybe even blue. I don't know. But yeah, you can choose a white t-shirt in a load of sizes. The children's are five. The adults are eight. And then you can design it with a background, with text, with like a main like image and I just went for no text and pretty plain because Matthew doesn't really like in your face kind of Star Wars and Disney not like me <laughs> hey but uh yeah so I got this for Matthew for Christmas and it was eight pound and I designed it myself and the queue wasn't even that big it was really fun to do actually so I do want to do another one of those and it's only in the Tottenham Court Road Primark so next time I go down to London I'll be designing my own one so the next thing I got was the chip backpack I'm sure you have all seen them I have to admit, when I first seen pictures of him, I was like, he's a little bit creepy. But then somebody sent me like a picture of him, like holding him, and I could see how big he was. And I don't know, I kind of ended up liking him. So I was like, you know what, pick me one up. Um, my Auntie Lynn, hi Auntie Lynn, I know you watch all my videos. My Auntie Lynn really helps me out since I finished uni, and she goes into town, like where, like she works in town basically in Newcastle. So most mornings she goes in and gets stock for me because I just can't get it myself anymore with me not being at uni. So yeah, she picks up a lot of my stuff and she picked up this for me. So this guy was £12. He's still got the straps on. I haven't used them yet. Um, yeah, he is quite big. I will say that the zip's a little bit stiff. I mean, not too bad. And he is actually a decent size. So you can actually fit like a good amount in there. Like my purse is here actually. I don't know why my purse is here because it's not Disney. So if you say that, like... There's still plenty of room. Like, he's actually a really good size. He doesn't fit my tablet in. I have tried him with my tablet and he doesn't fit my tablet in because I wanted to use him when I went down to London the other day and he didn't fit my tablet in. So, he is a really good size and he's not as creepy looking as I thought. He's quite cute. So, I'm actually quite happy with that. Like, I'm going to use him on a daily basis. I will say, though, if you get one, try and look after him because the kind of, if you dent it, like, if you push that in, it like creases and dents really easily. So he has like a little bit of a dent going on there just from being in the bag. So yeah, the, a lot of them like on the shelves were all dented and like a bit smashed up. But yeah, if you can get a nice one, I actually think they're quite cute. Like I'd be really happy with that. Like, well, I am really happy with that. I don't know why I'm saying it like that. But yeah, see how the stiff, <coughs> the zip's a little bit stiff, like closing it. Open it, he's fine. But closing it is a bit stiff, so I don't know if that'll get better when I use it more. But there's a handle and then adjustable straps. And he was £12, and I actually quite like him. And there's a lot of them left as well. I feel like people are not that fussed on them. So there's a lot of them left, but I like them. No, battery, please don't die. Oh, really? Right, I'll just change the battery. Christmas cup, yes. Why does tea make me this happy? I know you just had to go all the way upstairs for a battery but we're good. Okay, so the next thing you can already see is my Cogsworth. So I was really lucky to be able to get the Cogsworth from Primark. I do actually also have the Lumiere, but my auntie picked him up for me just a few days ago and I haven't picked him up for my auntie yet. So he'll be in next month's Disney haul. So I got Cogsworth though in the meantime. I think he was 12. I, I feel like they were both 12. I feel like Lumiere was 12, Cogsworth was 12, the Mrs. Potts teapot was 12 and the Enchanted Rose was eight pound. In fact, out of all of the like, bigger Disney Primark things, the Beauty and the Beast things. The only thing I didn't get was the Enchanted Rose because I made my own and I didn't like the black base on it. Anyway, I got Cogsworth. Um, yeah, I do still prefer the Disney Store one even though I don't have the Disney Store one. I want him, Santa. I do like him. He's like, kind of like pottery. Like he would smash if you dropped him, uh, which is not good because it's very hard to get him. So you can't exactly return him or swap him. Um, it's a bit weird. He is different to the Instagram picture that Primark put out. The Instagram one didn't have a black line around his mouth. Um, he was a bit of a different colour and he also had a second hand, a red second hand, but this guy doesn't. But nevertheless, he's still really cool. He is a working clock. Uh, yeah, I like, I like him. He's very cute. So I'm very lucky to get him. I do wish the pendulum kind of went as well, but uh, yeah, he's cute. And then he just has a hole in the back where you put the battery in. So the next 
thing is a jumper that I have had so many questions on although it is kind of more in stores now but I managed to pick this up as soon as it was in stores like the day it hit stores I was in London and I managed to pick it up and I absolutely love it like I kind of want to get another one in a smaller size to wear like I don't know a bit more fitted but I absolutely love this like I can't even tell you how much I love this so I got a large and oh my god I just love it it's my favorite thing from the whole Primark x Disney range my favorite thing hands down it was 10 pound possibly 12 but I think it was 10 and honestly I just love it like next time I'm in store I think I'm gonna have to get to I think I'm gonna have to get it again like I said that about the Donald and the Marie jumpers and I didn't get another one because they just weren't in stores again but I haven't seen this one in my local store I got this in London so I know it is hitting stores a lot more now though so I definitely need to get myself into one of these honestly it's so like oh my god like for a tenner like look at that it's so 90s I love it I absolutely love it and I've had loads of people saying where's it from Primark honestly it's great I love it like number one thing this month this bad boy I love it so the next thing are these leggings I plan on wearing these on Christmas day with if you watched my Disney store haul last month um I got a red Christmas jumper and red slippers and I plan on wearing these with them on Christmas day like that's my Christmas outfit comfy festive at Disney what more do you need how cute are these though these have got like little mickeys all over them and it's just really Christmassy and they're quite thick they're just really comfy I think they were 12 yeah so these were 12 and I got them in a medium because I want them to be comfy and yeah they just fold out and they're leggings so you can't really go wrong I kind of maybe feel like they were a little bit overpriced like considering how epic that jumper was I feel like these should have been at the most 10 just because they are a bit thicker I also would have liked some more colors um but I love them I haven't even tried them on yet I just assume they'll fit and I'm saving them for Christmas day so yeah Primark I can't remember if I showed this in last month's Disney haul so if I did I apologize and you probably won't even see this because I will check and then not upload it but if i didn't put it in the last disney one to the haul then you're watching this because yeah anyway so this is also again primark was still on the primark stuff it's quite plain compared to the other one but it has like the fab five on there although is daisy part of the fab five we don't know but uh mickey and friends it says and yeah it's just got the five on again so 90s absolutely love it i believe this one was eight pound but again it could have been 10 i'm not sure i did get this one quite a few weeks ago and I just, I'm, I'm obsessed with the jumpers from Primark at the minute. I do feel like I've been buying them all in large as though. And they look great with leggings. But I kind of want to get back into wearing jeans. So I think I'm going to have to get mediums and smalls. Just so that they're not always huge. I don't know. It's just something I'm trying to do at the minute. But if you want to wear them with leggings or as like a dress or just really big and long size up and they look amazing so the next thing is another jumper and i remember i seen this on instagram and i was like oh my god i love it it's like pastel pink it's not even coming across on camera as pretty as it is that's such a shame it's proper washing it out but it's like a really really baby pastel pink like it's gorgeous it really complements the lilac on mrs potts there so it just says it's tea time it's embroidery it's really pretty and it is just plain on the back and stuff again i sized up i actually got this about three weeks ago and still haven't worn it which is kind of an indication that maybe i have a lot of them now so i should take this back and swap it for something that i'm actually going to use like i'm after the mickey mouse shirt from primark at the minute i need that so bad and i feel like i'll wear it loads and i want to get it because it's 10 pound so maybe i should take this back i don't know i really like it though i don't know but yeah i haven't worn it yet but it was 10 pound and it's just got mrs potts on there embroidery and it just says it's tea time and it's really cute another another jumper i feel like i constantly live in primark jumpers now okay so the next few things i have are from emp although i keep seeing emp but it's EMP. I am actually doing a full EMP haul of clothing, like My Little Pony, some kind of alternative stuff, like quite a lot of things, not just Disney, but it will include the Disney stuff as well. But I thought I may as well include the Disney stuff I have from them now, because why not? So the first thing I have is this Nightmare Before Christmas Nightshade Sally. I'm not gonna lie, I haven't seen it. And when I say that, lots of people get 
quite angry. Uh, yeah, I just haven't seen Nightmare Before Christmas. I will be watching it though, because it's Christmas now. And I feel like, I mean, I could have watched it for Halloween, but I just didn't get around to it. I didn't even watch Hocus Pocus Halloween. Like Halloween disappeared for me. Hence why I'm really celebrating Christmas. Like I'm doing Vlogmas and everything. Check it out. Funko Pop. So this was from EMP. The rabbit has very kindly chewed the side of it. Um, I think these go for about £10 on EMP. I'm not sure, but I will link everything below that I can. Obviously not the Primark stuff because you can't shop Primark online. But yeah, so isn't she cute though? Like I know who she is. Like I know who she is. Like they gifted me this basically. Um, if you've watched my EMP vlogs, then you see me opening the stuff at the end of the vlogs of what they give me sort of thing. Um, but yeah, I... I know who she is, I just haven't seen the movie. They also gifted me this Beauty and the Beast choker. It is so gorgeous and the detail on it is crazy. How amazing is that? I mean, it's so beautiful. Like, it gonna, it, you're gonna notice it, do you know what I mean? Like, I just think it's lovely. I really do, so I really appreciate that. Thank you, EMP. I am going to be wearing this. The next thing I have is this Enchanted Rose top. Honestly, I absolutely love this so much. I've already had it on. They actually accidentally sent me two, but I've had my one on and this is like a fresh one uh, straight out of the packet, but mine is in the wash because I've already worn mine. I'll put a picture of what it looks like on at the side. I can never remember which side it is, but yeah, how gorgeous is that? So it just has the, enchant the enchanted, the enchanted rose on with some writing. What does the writing say? Um... It has stuff on from Beauty and the Beast, I think, but I can't really make it out. But this is official Disney. Like, seriously, check out EMP for Disney. Their stuff is amazing, and a lot of it is exclusive to them. Like, their stuff is beautiful. Honestly, it really is. So go and check out this top. Um, I believe it's on offer for £12 at the minute as well, and it's ever so slightly, like, quite a wide kind of neckline so I kind of wear it off the shoulder a little bit so you could size up and wear it like really off the shoulder and that would look really nice but I got it in a small and it fits lovely. I also got this Miko top from EMP. I absolutely love this top. It's extremely similar to the Enchanted Rose with the fact that it's black on the back and it's got quite a wide neck on it but it's a little bit bigger fitting. Just a little bit, I think. I feel like it is. Um, so I got this in a small as well. I'm pretty sure this is only like eight pound as well on their website, it's amazing. And how cute is it? I love it so much. I can't wait to wear that. And the last thing is this purse. It is a villain's purse. It's so beautiful. It's such a nice like quality and pattern on it and stuff. So I'll give you a close up so you can actually see it. So it's a villain's purse. And honestly, check out EMP for Disney. It's amazing. I am going to have a discount code with them. I don't have it at the minute. But if you make sure to check out, to pay, check out my EMP haul when it's up, there will be a discount code on there. Or just make sure you follow me on Instagram and I'll announce when I get the discount code for you guys. But there's quite a lot of space in there, isn't there? It's really nice. And EMP, it's all official Disney as well. So I've got so much to go. <laughs> oh, my Disney hauls are just crazy. So the next thing is this hand cream. I got this from Truffle Shuffle. You can get this from like loads of places. Assos do it, Boots do it, Superdrug do it, but I got mine from Truffle Shuffle. There's like a whole range of stuff to do with this sort of thing. So I got the hand cream, but you can get like, I think they had an advent calendar. They had like a bigger enchanted rose with quite a few things in like hand creams and different like moisturizers and it was really beautiful. But I got this hand cream. So it actually smells really nice as well. So you just take that off oh oh there we go and then there's like a little rose in it and it's a hand cream and honestly i have had this by my bedside table for the last few weeks and i literally do use it on a night so i've been using that you can see um pretty much every night i love the smell of it really moisturizing it's really it's really nice actually so I've, I, don't, I think it looks really nice as well on your bedside table. I mean, you literally have a little enchanted rose sat on your bedside table and then you just moisturize your hands with it. Pretty, so I'll link this below. My next purchase is from the cat kit. Oh my God, if I had dropped that. <gasps> My next purchase is from the Kath Kidson collection. I will admit that this is a lot smaller than what I thought. I read plate and didn't realise it was meant to be a trinket dish. So I seen that it was £8, which was how much the last plate was that I got in the collection. Uh, the Tinkerbell one, if you watched last month's Disney haul. So the Tinkerbell one's like this kind of big. Um, around and she's like a plate and then yeah this one was eight pound as well so I thought oh another eight pound plate and like I said I want to collect the plates from the Kath Kidson collection and I missed out on the Dalmatian one so yeah when I seen this I thought oh my god that's amazing I love it and it came in a massive box as well I picked it up from store got home and I opened it and I was just like that is not a plate 
Like that is not a plate. But I think it did actually say trinket dish on the website. So that's my own fault. Never mind. If I'd known, I probably, well, if I'd realised, I probably would have got the other dish in the collection, which was £10 and it was grey. But yeah, I've got this now and I'm going to use it as either a coaster on my desk or a tea bag kind of thing. But I don't really use tea bags. I strain tea leaves. But it is really gorgeous. And there are a few more things that I kind of really do want from the collection. But it's coming up to Christmas, so I need to be good. So I just got this but it was just annoying that it wasn't what I thought. So the next thing is these ears from Hannah Marie Magic. If you've been watching along with my Disneyland vlogs, Disney hauls, vlogs, everything, you'll know who Hannah is. Hannah is my ear girl. So there's loads of amazing people out there who make ears but Hannah is like a good friend of mine. Like we talk to each other pretty much every other day. Like we have a lot in common. We've met each other at Disneyland before. We want to go to Disneyland together and she makes all my ears for me and she sent me these ones for the Disney store event that I was invited to the other week. I love the colours. I feel like this is me and a pair of ears. I mean come on. They're absolutely gorgeous and she like lines the inside so that they're nice and soft. Honestly she's amazing. They're very padded and squishy. I love them. So I think these go for £20 on our Etsy. I'll link our Etsy below. But honestly, like, if you want ears, go to Hannah. I'm not, ow! Like, I'm not just saying that. If you want ears, go to Hannah. So it's Hannah Marie Magic on Instagram and Etsy. And I think I'm going to leave these on now. They're not Christmassy, but I'm going to leave them on. So the next two things are very Christmassy. And I got these in Pound World. I know, like, Primark has absolutely loads of Disney wrapping paper at the minute. But I happened to be in Pound World and seen them. And I thought... I quite like them. So I got this princess wrapping paper. It was a pound in Pound World and it's official Disney. I love that official Disney is just so affordable and everywhere at the minute. So it's got quite a few princesses on it as well. So this was literally a pound. I mean, I don't know how good the quality is gonna be, but it gets ripped off, do you know what I mean? Like it's wrapping paper, I'm not too fussed as long as it looks good when it's wrapped. And yeah, so I got that one. And then the next one I got was this one. Oh, focus. So it's got like Pluto on, Mickey, Minnie, uh, who else? Goofy, Daisy. It's got them all on there. So a pound again. And I think this one's really cute. I really like this one. So they were Pound World, which is the blue one, not the green one. And they were a pound each. So the next thing is a box. So a Disney box. If you've been watching me for a year now, last year in my 12 days of vlogmas i unboxed a box from all you pretty things and i was very kindly sent another one and honestly oh my god there's loads of amazing disney boxes out there like you guys know i unbox them and stuff but this one particularly just is full of very like if you want vintage disney a vintage disney box here we go like this is the best for vintage disney so i mean it's wrapped really nice delivered by unicorns and I actually unboxed it in a weekly vlog, but I'll show you again anyway, just in case you didn't watch my weekly vlog, which is fine. So it's all pink tissue paper inside, and honestly, it's amazing. So I got a card and everything, and it's Lauren who runs this. So I'll read you what Lauren wrote to me. Vintage Disney items are my favourite. They make me feel so nostalgic, so I hope you love the things I've picked for you. Lots of love, Lauren. So she's very Disney, very Disney, very vintage-based Disney, and honestly, the stuff that she sources is just like... Where did you get that? So she did give me a luggage tag from Disney World in this box, but it's already on my suitcase and I used it when I went down to London the other day. So I'm pretty sure I have a clip of that. So I'll put that at the side, but it was gorgeous. So she sent me this pin as well, which I had on my dress when I went down to the Disney event and lots of people asked me where I got it and I got it from All You Pretty Things. So that is really cute. So it is just like a badge. She was also really thoughtful and I had commented on her Instagram quite a while ago now saying that I really wanted this particular item and she remembered and she sent me it like I can't believe she gifted me this I've been dying to get my hands on this so this is as far as I know a vintage po why aren't you focusing a vintage Pocahontas mirror how amazing is that like that is a Pocahontas mirror like i need more 90s disney in my life and this helps so much like it's so beautiful i really want to make a pocahontas section on my shelves so i'm gonna get this out of the wrapping and get this up on my shelves i just can't wait she also sent me this meg keyring oh my god i love hercules so much like it's just such an amazing movie it's definitely one of my top five and yeah she sent me this this is another thing that i'm pretty sure i've commented on her um instagram and i was like i need it so now that I have done this, I can get it out. And I think I'm going to put it on my um, 
oh what you call it like car rear view mirror i think it'll look really nice there i just don't want to get ruined i don't want to put it on my keys i want to put it somewhere special she also sent me two postcards so this one is a replica of 1992 Aladdin. So it is a postcard and look how well she wraps everything. Like everything is like individually plastic wrapped and I think that's gorgeous. I already have like a Jasmine Aladdin section in my shelves now. So that's gonna go beautiful in there. And she sent me my girl Mulan. Mulan's like top movie of all time. Like I've always loved Mulan. Like I can't wait for the live action next year. Although they've already changed a lot of things that I'm not happy about but we're not going to that right now uh, so yeah she sent me this one and this is a 1998 one um it it was published in 2017 but the image is from 1998 so how cute is that she also sent me this t-shirt transfer I mean talk about 90s vintage Disney this box is perfect I'm obsessed like the 90s Disney movies are my favorite so Hunchback, Notre Dame, uh, Hercules, Mulan like those are my favorites I absolutely love like if you know me in general you'll know I'm obsessed with like vintage and 90s and stuff so yeah I can't wait to get that on a t-shirt the next thing she sent me which I can't believe she gifted me this is an actual vintage Little Mermaid magazine I think it's 94 hang on so Republic of Ireland 1994 this is from 1994 like what I can't believe this is part of my collection I feel so privilege to have this like just so like grateful I, I can't believe it like ugh. how am I in this position to be gifted this like seriously I have already sat down with a cup of tea and had a good read through and it's so amazing and then here there was a competition running on the magazine and there's if as if that was what you could win it's so funny but she sourced this and it's part of the mystery box like seriously guys go and check her out she also sent me this as well and it says sunday my prince will come and it's very like glittery and pink and just oh i can't wait to frame it it's so beautiful so thank you lauren for all of that stuff like that is such an amazing disney box and she specializes in vintage disney boxes like her boxes are the best for vintage Disney so please go and check her out so I will link everything below but I'll also tell you so it's www.allyouprettythingsx.com and then the Instagram is I think it's all you pretty things x as well but I will link everything below I was also very kindly gifted some items from Disney World by one of you absolutely lovely lot and I've already messaged her and said thank you and um, I actually showed them in a weekly vlog a couple of weeks ago as well so yeah I've had these a couple of weeks now but I feel very grateful that one of you guys would go to Disney World and think of me while you're there and pick me up some stuff like you just don't have to do that but I'll show you what I got sent so I got this absolutely amazing little mini mouse pen from Disney World I've always wanted one of these and I've never had one I know they're in Disneyland as well but I never see one that I really want so I was very 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 grateful to open the packet and see this she also got me this postcard of Belle it's absolutely beautiful original artwork bell in the library by artist in jung jun kim um but how amazing is that i really want to get this framed it's beautiful and apparently it was four dollars 99 she also sent me this pin trading pouch um i have like a plasticky just kind of plain purple one on my lanyard at the minute but it's a mulan lanyard so i think i'm going to get myself a alice lanyard and then this can go on and oh my god it's it's so beautiful like guys you don't ever have to get me anything. You don't ever have to send me anything or spend your money on me. But I am very grateful for this. And apparently this was $6.99 in Disney World. So that was everything that I bought this month. Always very, very kindly gifted. Like seriously, I feel very fortunate and just spoiled. Like honestly, you honestly don't have to send me anything. You don't have to spend your money on me. But I am very grateful for everything I receive. So now on to the giveaway. I will cut to a clip of all of the prizes that you can win. Um, because... There's quite a few and I'll lay them out on the bed if you know like if you've been watching me for quite a few months now You'll know how I normally do it. I put them all out on the bed and go through it So I will show you the prizes that you can win now Okay guys, so we've come into my bedroom and I've laid the prizes out onto the bed like I usually do So if you enter the giveaway, there's gonna be three prizes. This is first prize here So you get the chip trinket tray, Bambi cup, Mrs. Potts purse, two bags, the nice big squishy soon there and Alice makeup bag two key rings, a purse, um, the Marie card holder that everybody loves, 
a bracelet, a chalker set and the Moana, it's 2007 manual but it doesn't really matter, it's just full of pictures and stories so yeah hopefully that'll be okay so that's first prize so this is second prize we've got the primark lovely marie handbag i really like the white one so that's going to be the main prize for second prize there's a chip cup a little mermaid purse the dory manual a chip keyring it's very beauty and the beast themed isn't it and then we've got a bambi bag a bracelet a mini keyring and aurora pen set there and this choker set has been chewed by the rabbit on the corners of the packaging but the chokers are absolutely fine so sorry about that and then third prize you have the mini purse from primark and um, the tags come off but it is brand new i was really annoyed that the tag came off you can see like the plastic bit there but i promise you it's brand new then they've got the alice bag an ariel pez a Big Hero 6 colouring book, which I've had myself and I loved it, so I got another one. Sticker set, rubbers, frozen manual, a surprise princess. The packaging has come off because I opened it, but it was a duplicate, so it is brand new. It went straight back in the packaging, but I know who it is. And then a daisy key ring, so that's third prize. So if you want to be within a chance to win these prizes, all you have to do is make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, and then comment in the comments your favourite Disney Christmas memory. You can also enter on my Instagram on the post for an extra entry and only people who follow all of the rules will win and believe me, I can check because loads of people don't follow the rules and I will be checking. So I'll put on the screen when the giveaway closes and I'll try and get the packages out to you before Christmas but if I can't, I will send them after Christmas and it can be like a lovely big late Christmas present. So good luck and thank you for entering. I will pick a winner at random from those who follow all of the rules and I will let you know in the comments below on Instagram, on Twitter. Make sure you check out my Disney store haul because that was quite large and loads of other things that I bought this month. If you want to see everything Disney that I bought, if you like Disney hauls, then go and check it out. If you're feeling festive and you want to continue to feel festive or if you don't feel like you're celebrating Christmas enough, make sure you check out my Vlogmas because I am doing Vlogmas every day and I am keeping it festive and I am keeping it quite Disney. So if you only come back to my channel to watch my Disney hauls, which is absolutely fine, I want to take this opportunity to say thank you so much for supporting me this year. I will be coming back next year with a huge bang. I I have so many things planned for next year and I'm not just saying that. So I wish you a very, very Merry Christmas and a very Happy New Year. If you're coming back to my channel every day to watch my Vlogmas, I'll see you guys in my next Vlogmas. If you're coming back to my channel to watch my next haul video or just video that isn't a Vlogmas, then I'll see you in that video. I hope you're all having a wonderful December and thank you so much for watching this video. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to see more. And I'm going to stop blabbing and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Bye.